not such a funny one this one. Um, can't match that I'm afraid. Oh. Or I'll get you later. <laughs> this is something I wrote about the uh, loss of a family through divorce and one thing or another. It's called Cutting the Ties That Bind. I believe it's going in the uh, anthology. I stood in the centre of the room, the letters I had written you lying on the floor, autumn leaves cast down by a cold north wind. You brought them to show me, as if I couldn't remember writing them, the pages of our relationship lying there before me. I stooped to pick them up, make some kind of order out of the chaos, and realised I'd been doing this with our lives for some time. The futility of it all was evident to all who cared to look. I just never had. You looked at me and I knew all was lost. I never see things as they really are until they're staring me in the face. I guess that's just the way I am. Too late to change now. We've simply grown apart. I didn't understand your needs, you said. There was nothing simple about it from where I was standing, surrounded by the wreckage of our life together. I remembered other times when things were different. Remembering the good has become a habit of mine. After you left, kissing me on the cheek like an old friend, I stood looking out at you, striding down the road, your shoulders back, best foot forwards, marching into your future, the one without me in it. Even then, I could not help but wish you well. After all, you're still my daughter. Nothing can change that. I'll have to do another one. <laughs> Do why, I have to do another one? Roll, mate, to I'm on a roll there, my old bollocks. <laughs> <laughs> the only roll I've had today, I can tell you. Oh. Right. You haven't had the day we've had. <laughs> I don't even know how we've got oh. it. <laughs> right, another one. <laughs> this is um, one I wrote for a lady now passed, unfortunately, on another website. And it's called The Memory Game. It speaks for itself. I don't need to introduce this one. It was a time of night when ghosts walk. People talked of wishbones and dream times. We were sitting around an oak dining table, breaking bread together, sharing a bottle or two of wine, relaxing in that familiar scene. Old friends, new friends, sat like moths around a flame, sifting through their memories like a newly discovered game, leading each other word for word, hand in hand, for a stroll down memory lane. How many times have I spent in this situation, basking in the warmth of friendships freely given, looking around the room and feeling the glow, realising these are people who care if I win or lose? When all else is lost to the winds of time, raise your hands in surrender. These friends will gladly take a stand, take your outstretched, helpless hands, and guide you back to the safety of this wondrous room. If some friends fall along the way, others will come to save the day. Now those that are now long gone or simply passed away, there is always memory lane to walk down. They will be there, as you will be. Can I stop now? <laughs> <laughs> Thank you very much.